In this second part of tutorial 2, I will continue working with round floral motifs and show you how to join these motifs together in order to create a larger piece of work. This motif is the one that we made in the first part of this tutorial. It has four completed rounds. This is my second motif. As you can see, here I have not finished the last fourth round. I made only five petals and now I will be crocheting the last petal and at the same time connect my second motif to any of the petals of the first motif. Let's begin the work together. My second motif will be attached to the first one through these three middle picots. One, two, three. To begin the work, we need to hold two motifs backward side together. Like this. Turn it over and hold together. Now let's begin the last petal. Work with a current motif. Into the last chain space of six, work a single crochet, then chain three, one, two, three, then treble crochet, and work a picot, chain three, and slip into the treble. Again, treble crochet into the same chain space, and at this point, begin joining. First, make one chain stitch. Then here, on the petal of the first motif, there are five picots. Skip the first picot, insert the hook into the second one. Remember that the reverse side of this motif is facing you. Insert the hook and work a single crochet through. Then chain one and continue with the current motif. Work a slip stitch into the treble just to complete a picot. Then continue treble crochet into the chain space of seven and make a picot on top. But instead of a second chain stitch, make a single crochet into the following picot of other motif. So I chained one, now single crochet through the next picot, then chain one more and slip into the treble. And repeat the same one more time, treble crochet into the same chain space of six, chain one, single crochet through the next picot of other motif, then again chain one and slip into the treble of current motif. Now let's take a look. We joined two petals of different motifs together through picots. You cannot see the joining points at all. Now we still need to finish the current motif. Continue treble crochet into the same chain space and work a picot on top, chain three and slip into the treble. Then chain three, one, two, three and single crochet into the same chain space. Last petal is ready. Now continue and complete the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch. The second motif is ready. Now we have two motifs joined together. One petal of the first motif is connected to a petal of the second motif. As you can see, this is an invisible joining made with single crochet stitches. Also, let's take a look at the reverse side of our work. In 
In this crocheted piece that is in front of me, I joined eight the exact same motifs. You can clearly see that each motif is connected petal to petal to other motifs. As we have six petals, so we need to attach six more motifs to the one that is in the middle. I remind you that we worked single crochet stitches through three middle picots in order to connect motifs together. This particular motif layout gives us a very nice and beautiful texture. Before we begin joining the next motif, I would like to make a suggestion. All the time, right before joining motifs, put a new motif on top of any previous one and make sure that they are the same size. That is what I usually do because very often, especially when you make a very large piece of work of same motifs, you may change your yarn tension at some point and new motifs might be smaller or larger than previous ones. We need to prevent it. We want all motifs be the exact same size. Now here my current motif will be attached to the main piece to these two petals of different flowers. For joining I did not complete the last round. I've crocheted four petals of six and left two more petals to go for joining. Now let's continue together and connect new motif to our large piece. I began the fifth petal of my current motif. I remind you that joining will be made by single crochet through picots here and here. So far into the next chain space of six of previous round, I made a treble with a pico on top. Now take the motif that you're going to attach the current motif to hold these motifs backwards side together like this and continue the work. Continue the current motif, treble crochet into the same chain space of six. Then chain one and now we need to work a single crochet through the second pico of other motif. Here we have a petal with five picots. Skip the first one and work into the second pico. Single crochet. Then chain one and make a slip stitch into the treble. Repeat two more times, treble crochet into the same chain space of six, chain one, make joining for the single crochet through the next pico of other motif, then again chain one and slip into the treble. And repeat the last time, treble crochet chain one, single crochet into the next pico of other motif to make the joining. Again, chain one and slip into the treble we've just made. We connected these two petals in three points here. Now continue with current motif, treble crochet into the same chain space of six, Make a pico on top, chain three and slip into the treble. Then chain three, one, two, three, and single crochet into the same chain space of previous round. Then single crochet into the following single crochet stitch and begin the last petal working into the last chain space of six. Work a single crochet, then chain three, treble crochet, with a pico on top, one, two, three chain stitches and slip into the treble, then treble crochet and with the next pico I will be making joining. Let's see now. 
This last petal needs to be attached to a petal of the other flower. Hold them backwards side together and work the same as we did the previous joining. Chain one, single crochet through the second pico of other motif, skip the first pico, this one, insert the hook into the second one and single crochet through. Then chain one and work a slip stitch into the treble we've just made. Again, treble crochet into the last chain space of six. Chain one, make the joining single crochet into the next pico of other motif. Chain one and slip into the treble. And the last time, treble crochet. Then chain one, single crochet into the next pico of other motif. It is the last joining. Chain one and slip into the treble. Now the last petal of our current motif is attached to the petal of other motif. Let's complete our current motif. Treble crochet into the same last chain space of six. Then make a pico, chain three, and slip into the treble. Then chain three, and single crochet into the chain space. Complete this round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch made in the beginning of the round. The motif is ready and now it is a part of our large crocheted piece. Such kind of motifs can be used as separate elements or flowers, as well as you can make tablecloth, bed cover, bags, and any piece of wardrobe by connecting these small round motifs together. The texture of this crocheted piece that I made looks the same no matter how you place it. The only difference is the age. As you can see here, the top and the bottom edge of my piece are more straight. These are perfect finished sides. However, the other two sides of my piece are not that straight at all. They have angles. This is the right side. And this is the reverse side. Please let us know if you like this tutorial. For more free video tutorials, visit our website at charoneeding.com. Thank you so much for watching.